Hi, everybody. Welcome to the video. Um, if you're like me, you probably came across like a, an old iPod you had and you were like, hey, what can I do to get like uh, music on my iPod now that iTunes is defunct um, and it doesn't really work with everything and Apple's the devil. So this is uh, this is what you want to do. I, I actually looked on on YouTube to find um, an easy way to get um, uh, my music from Music B, which is what you're looking at right here. This is uh, my preferred um, uh, music uh, player, and hopefully it's yours as well, because this is the only one I'm going to cover. But um, how do I get my uh, music from Music B over to uh, my iPod? And um, there's there's like another kind of add-on too that uh, where, where it's like a, uh, it does this thing here. I think it's like I, I think I had it installed. Turn turn iPod and iPhone driver on. And it got really complicated. It wound up you had to have like iTunes 9. And I tried to install iTunes 9. It went up to 12, as you guys may remember. <clears throat> but I installed iTunes 9 and 8 and all these old iTunes and nothing was working. So I went to YouTube to find some uh, some other uh, uh, ways to do it. And everybody was like, yo, try this software. It's free. And it's free for 50 songs. And then you have to buy it. Um, I'm not going to promote them here or anything, but you know which you know which, uh, software company I'm talking about, uh, or which software I'm talking about. But I'm going to I figured out a way. Uh, there's a way to do this that uh, it's a it's a couple of extra steps, but it's not difficult at all. So I want to show you guys how to do this. So I'm actually going to scroll down here, and you can do this with all your music in here, or you can do it with just part of your music, whatever you want to do. So this is how we're going to do it. We're actually going to pick uh, whatever songs we want, um, and let's see, we're going to pick. Uh, We'll just do some uh, Nelly Furtado, whatever. It doesn't matter. So we're going to choose some Neil Young. Okay, so Neil Young, uh, go ahead and choose those. And then we're going to right-click and add to a playlist. We're going to add to a new playlist. And we're going to say new. No, we'll call it Neil Young. Save it. So now we have this Neil Young playlist right here, okay? So now I'm going to right click there and I'm going to export it um, into uh, the desktop and we'll just call it uh, Neil Young, okay? That's step one. So now what you do is you go over to your um, iTunes The most recent iTunes is the one I use. The most recent one from 11 years ago. So like uh, iTunes 12. So I'm going to go File, Library, Import Playlist, Neil Young. So here's the Neil Young playlist. Okay. We're going to stop it because I'm not a big fan of Neil Young right now. Um, so now what you have to do is uh, I'm going to connect my iPod, okay? And it's probably going to, uh, it might start syncing some stuff, but basically you don't want it to sync automatically. I'm pretty sure I have my settings in there not to sync it actually. So I'm gonna plug it in. It's plugged in. There it is. And now I'm gonna go to the music tab right here. Or actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go right here. And then I'm going to, now I'm going to go to the music tab and you want it to sync music, selected playlist. And I got that one. I'm going to choose that one as well. And also Neil Young. Why not? To show you how to do it. And then click the apply button down here. And then uh, it's, uh, as, as you can see at the top, it's beginning to sync. And there's the uh, Neil Young stuff going. Oh, did that finish? Oh, no, I clicked the sync button down here. Sorry. Clicked it down there. And now it's going to do it. You can see at the top up here. It's copying all this extra stuff because I just added this uh, Four Stars Plus playlist as well. So it's uh, it's got these these uh, playlists right here that I just import I exported from Music B, imported into iTunes, and now I'm telling iTunes to just, to just only sync my playlist, artists, albums, and genres that I want. So I'm clicking that right there. And then uh, now I'm uh, syncing it. You can download iTunes anywhere. You're not going to like, uh, um, obviously, the store is not available or anything anymore. But um, that's uh, that's how you do it absolutely for free. Um, instead of all these other videos telling you 
not <laughs> it's free, but then you can only do it with 50 songs unless you pay like 50 bucks. But anyway, that's how you do it. Uh, hope this hope this was helpful to you. Please subscribe to my channel so I can like uh, uh, get this thing monetized and maybe I'll start putting some more videos up here as well that are helpful. If you want to see additional stuff, just put it in the comments down there and uh, I will do all the work for you. I'll do the legwork. I'll find out what how to do it for free, how to do whatever it is you want to do for free and uh, I'll make a video about it. Um, until next time, thanks a lot. Um, have a great uh, day out there. Do something nice for somebody.